Hello and welcome to Kobe Fabrics DIY channel. My name is Amy and I'm visiting today from Artisan Upholstery Studio right here on YouTube. Today we're finishing up our dining room inspiration series by making window treatments. I'm looking forward to showing you what we can create from this gold crushed velvet. So this is the window that we are going to make the window treatments for. Obviously, the first step is going to be to measure your window. We're only going to make them to go halfway up and make sure that you measure all the windows because they might be different measurements. So this is the fabric we're using. It's a crushed velvet with a backing, which is really nice because it, it gives it a nice thick um, feel for holding together when we make those window treatments and it's really appropriate for the kind we're going to be making. So you're going to cut all the panels. I've got four big panels to cut and like I said they're only going to go halfway down the window um, and I've got two that are 28 inches wide and two that are 30 inches wide. And so when you take those window measurements, you have to allow for the seam that you're going to sew in. So you want to add about two inches so that um, you have enough to fold over and stitch. And that's what we're doing now. You go all around four sides of this panel. And you're just folding it over. And on the corner, you're, you're just cutting out the corner so that you don't have a big bulky corner there. And uh, I'm just going to show you how to sew the corners nicely so that they look really finished. Now these are really, really easy window treatments to make if you just want to make something nice and colorful for the top of your windows and you're not really looking to block the light or the view or anything like that. They're just like little decorations and hits of color at the top of the window. So make sure that the measurement stayed true to the actual size of the window. And then what you want to do is find some wood or buy some wood, whatever. These are just scrap pieces of wood. And um, I just cut them to a, approximately the same size as the window treatment. They can be smaller, but they cannot be bigger. So you staple it to the back side of that scrap piece of fabric and do all four. Here, this is my last one. And then you're going to fold the piece of uh, the panel like a like an accordion and now you're going to measure to figure out how how long a little uh, tie would be just for the length that you want this to hang down so this is how long I want it to be so I'm going to cut I have four windows, so I'm going to cut eight of these little of these little panels, and these are three inches wide, and mine are 16, but yours could be different. So now that I have them all sewn, I'm going, going to get ready to attach them right to this panel. So again, make sure that these are neatly folded. 
and you want to make sure that the bottom piece is showing the fabric and not the liner. And when you twist it around or put it around, make sure it doesn't twist. You want it to stay nice and flat. And then you're just going to um, measure because you want them to all be exactly the same. And I'm going seven from the end of the fabric, not the wood because the wood is a little bit short. So you're just going to staple the two ends together and that way it's going to make sure that all of them are exactly the same height. And there we go. So this isn't very heavy. So all I really need to do is just put one nail in the center because I don't really want to make a lot of holes in my nice wood windows. But if you feel like you would like these to be really permanent for you, you could screw them in or you could add more nails if you think that's necessary. I'm just trying to keep it real simple. So here's the finished window treatments in place. I think they look terrific with the other projects that we've completed, the Parsons chair slip cover and the dining seats that we did in the B fabric. If you haven't gone and checked those out, go do that now. Here's our before dining room and here's the after. I think everything is really pulled together nicely. All the coordinating fabrics look just terrific together. It was really great to finish these projects. I loved the fabrics, loved working with them. I hope you enjoyed this dining room inspiration series. Thank you for watching.